Hey everyone, it's Jen over at jenscrappypages.blogspot.com. Today's project uh, might look familiar to you if you have seen my uh, some of my other older stuff. Um, I, um, and only because I used a, a same layout as I did on one of my other cards that I use the exact same stamp set, uh, both for the background and for the for, uh, for the sentiment here. Um, well, it, it, I mean, it's exactly the same. The only thing that I did differently with this one is I have an embossed background and if I, I'm sure you can see it cause I can see it kind of reflecting off the lights in here, but isn't that just absolutely stunning? Let me bring it up a little bit closer. Um, so I ordered some, um, white embossing powder and some uh, of the craft ink, the white craft ink, and decided to sit down and kind of play around with it a little bit. Um, and this is what I ended up coming up with, which is definitely going to lead me down to playing a little bit more with the white on white with the embossing powder. So let's get to the uh, products used and um, we'll put the card together. Um, oh, and I wanted to show you too, oh my goodness, my brain today. Um, so, I wanted to show you these other versions that I made. Um, today is the last day for celebration, and um, with every $50 purchase, you get a free celebration item. And I can't remember if it was last week or the week before, uh, Stampin' Up! added some new celebration items. And the 2016-2018 in color cardstock pack was one of them. Uh, so, of course, I, you know, got a couple of them <laughs> and um, I had some of the ribbons already but I, I ended up ordering this really beautiful ruched ribbon to go with each of the colors um, and so what I, I thought I would throw these together and show you what each one of these look like in the in colors this one is emerald envy the first one I showed you is the flirty flamingo which, and then um, sweet sugar plum isn't that just beautiful uh, the Peekaboo Peach, and last but not least, the Dapper Denim. Um, so today is it, March 31st, um, and you have until, I believe, midnight or a little before um, to get your orders in um, if you uh, like these. I think they're just absolutely stunning. So um, if you want to get your 2016-2018 in color cardstock, uh, pack for free. This is a great time to do it. Um, so let's go ahead and I'll go through the products. Um, like I said, this is the Roost Ribbon. This is the Flirty Flamingo and it is just absolutely beautiful. I love the shimmer that it has and it's just the perfect size too. Then I use the uh, Craft Stampin' Pad, the Whisper White and the Flirty Flamingo for my ink. The uh, Layering Circles Framelits. And the stamp sets that I used are the Thankful Thoughts and a World of Thanks. I just love those together. So, oh, and then um, I also use the uh, white uh, Stampin' Emboss powder. And so for cardstock, let's go with uh, Whisper White. And it's going to be a 5.5 by 8.5 for your card base. A three and a half by, or sorry, three and a quarter by three and a quarter for the sentiment, and then a three and three quarters by five for our large background stamp. And this, the background stamp fits perfectly on this size. And then a five eighths of an inch by five and a half. The flirty flamingo is going to be a four and a quarter by, uh, no, I lied, four by five and a quarter. A three and a half by three and a half for our scallop circle and a one by five and a half. So let's do the embossing first. And I wanted to show you, um, I don't know if you guys are gonna be able to see it as well, but I decided to do one with the craft ink and the clear embossing powder um, versus the craft ink and the white embossing powder. And both of them worked out really beautiful. So if you don't have the white embossing powder, it'll still work with the clear. Um, but there is a difference. I just feel like this looks a lot richer um, on on this uh, cardstock. So I just wanted to kind of play around with it and see which one I liked better. But I definitely like the white with the white. So um, let's pull out our 
three and three quarters by five whisper white. And then um, I'm gonna go ahead and ink up my stamp. And I just have this, you know, sitting on the block. Um, <clears throat> and you're gonna wanna give this a pretty good inking because you want enough on there, um, you know, to cover it and also to um, have your embossing powder stick. So I just gave this a really good coverage on here. And you can also, um, I did use the stamp over and over again, you know, without washing it in between. So um, obviously if you're gonna use it with a different ink and then the, the, um, the craft ink, then you would wanna wash it in between. So I'm just gonna flip this over and I'm gonna line up this edge basically maybe a little bit less than the edge or maybe a little bit over than the edge of your uh, Whisper White cardstock. And I just used the regular Whisper White for this. I did not use the thick. So I'm just gonna go ahead and stamp down. And then what I found was easiest is I flip my block over and then I just went ahead and uh, applied some pressure with my finger just to make sure that I got all of the ink on there. So that should be about right. Um, I just wanna make sure it's all on there. And then I'm going to very carefully pick it up with the corner, whoops, and peel it off. And then I'm going to stick this on, I just have a little piece of paper, I don't have one of those fancy trays, so I just had, this is actually a card base um, that I was using. And then we're going to take our Stampin' Powder, um, and I don't have this in its own separate container, so I'm just going to throw this on top. It just kind of works for me. Make sure that it's covered and then um, very carefully, I guess you could use your fingernail, kind of just make sure that all of that powder sticks to your uh, ink. Um, I did not use the embossing buddy for this one. I didn't find that I needed to, so this worked just fine. Um, and to be honest with you, I guess I didn't, even try to begin with the first time. So I thought, well, that it worked nicely and it, it um, kept everything where it belonged. And uh, I guess it didn't, you know, it didn't get where it didn't belong, so. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and grab my heat gun, because I forgot to plug it in. Um, and then we're just gonna heat this up. And I'm gonna do it, instead of fast forwarding through it, um, well, I might, I don't know, I might fast forward through it. I haven't decided yet. Um, so bear with me with the noise, but it's just like magic when it starts to melt. So I'm just gonna get this heated up a little bit. And um, I'm just gonna use the tip of my scissors to kind of hold it down. And just in a, sp a spot where, um, just in a spot where there isn't any, you know, word or ink or anything. So this is fine as long as it's kind of down. And it takes just a little bit for the magic to start happen, but man, when it does, it is just the coolest thing to watch. See, there it goes. I don't think I'll ever get tired of that. All right, so that should be it. Oh my goodness, can you see how absolutely beautiful that is? I don't know if you can see that. It is just, I think it's stunning. You know, I love the embossing folders, but man, if I could have all sorts of different stamp sets like this that covered my background, I would certainly use that. So, um, so that's that. I'll bring my card back here in the picture. Um, you know what, as long as we have this space cleared out, never mind. I'm gonna go ahead and bring out my Big Shot and let's go ahead and cut our scallop circle and our, um, our cir well, I think I'm going to stamp on this other one, so forgive me, I might pull this out twice. Um, you know what, I'm just going to go for it. So we'll throw these on here. Sometimes I like to stamp my image and then cut it out, but I think I can cut it and then stamp it. Hopefully it'll turn out. <clears throat> Otherwise, we might be doing it again. All right, let's stamp our um, 
thank you so much on here. Put that back in view. I just absolutely love this stamp. I love the script. I'm going to bring this down so I don't stick my head in. Um, hopefully I don't. I might bring it down a little bit more. So that way I can kind of make sure it's even here when I stamp down. Ah, it's so pretty. Oh my goodness. Okay. Um, I'm just going to set that aside for a second and let's start adhering our card together. Like I said, this is a really simple card. It's a simple design, but I feel like with the embossing, it just makes it a wow card. Um, and then we're gonna take our card base and we're going to fold it or square it in half at four and a quarter. And then um, if you're new to my videos, I like to, you know, score it and then um, I like to lay it flat when I'm working on it because there's nothing more frustrating than trying to get something straight and having to, you know, worry about it coming up on you. So, and all of this is just going to get adhered down on top of each other. And then my other cards, I wasn't paying attention to where the main, like there's a thank you up here that is, you know, facing the right way. So a couple of my cards didn't get that, um, that it, it's upside down, but you know, I guess it is what it is. <laughs> it's still pretty. Hopefully your recipient won't notice it or mine when I send it out. So then this uh, five eighths by five and a half is gonna go on top of here. And I like the 5 8 with the 1 inch border because then the, um, the ribbon is 3 8 so it fits perfectly in the center of it. And then I'm going to go ahead and just put a little bit of adhesive on either side here, or at least try to, and get our ribbon out. And then I'm just going to wrap it around on each end. So you want that centered and then down here as well. And then when I put my adhesive on this, I just want to make sure that, um, that my ends stick down really well. So um, I'm pretty generous with my adhesive, especially on the ribbon itself, because um, you don't want your edges to be sticking up um, when you put this down. So that should work, and that's just going to go here in the center. Everything is pretty much centered on this card. I guess if I was going to name this card, it would be front and centered. <clears throat> Excuse me. So this is just going to go on top of your uh, scallop circle. And did you notice I did not use the um, stitched shapes framelits? only because the stamp was a little bit too big, so I think it would have interfered with the stitching around it. Um, so then I'm gonna turn it around and I'm just gonna put uh, some dimensionals on the top and the bottom of this, because your bulk of the ribbon and everything is gonna go in through the center. And then that's just gonna come over here centered and about, I don't know, a quarter of an inch to a half of an inch from the side. And we're going to take a little bit of our Flirty Flamingo. I absolutely love, love, love these colors. It's so pretty. And then we're just going to tie our bow. Just kind of a simple little one. And for bows, I like to start big and work small. So I'll work it out smaller and then I tighten it as I go until I get the look. And then you can kind of maneuver your ribbon down a little bit too. So tighten it and then um, and then as I bring it in, I'll kind of maneuver my ribbon so it so it wants to point down. So as soon as I get that where, where I want it and the about the size that I want it, I'll go ahead and tighten it up one last time and just move my ribbon down. It won't it won't 
you know, stay totally down. This piece always wants to come up, but I think that that looks good enough. So then we're just going to trim off at an angle. Here. I always get this side longer than that side. <laughs> and then I have to go back and kind of even it up. So there. That's it. That is the card. Easy peasy. And yet it just has such a stunning effect. Isn't that absolutely just beautiful? Um, so that's our project. And I'll bring these back in quick to show you all five of the colors together. Um, so um, if you would like to go to my website or my blog, Jen Scrappy Pages, dot blogspot dot com I will have a written tutorial along with a photo and um, if you would like to leave a comment in my uh, over on my blog I will draw for someone to receive all five of these cards along with the envelopes so you can maybe just keep one and uh, or hoard one and send out four to your uh, friends and family so thank you so much for watching and I will uh, talk to you later. Bye.